I'll be showing the new Microsoft 365 LTI app. LTI allows you to integrate all the Microsoft 365 apps into your learning management system. That includes Canvas, Schoology, Moodle, and more. We have learning accelerators, OneNote class notebooks, OneDrive, Teams meetings, and a lot more. So let's get started. Now, before we get started with the full educator demo, you need to make sure that your admin has set up the LTI tool. And this web page here, the link is on the screen and I also have a link in the description. Make sure your IT admin walks through this setup so you can have this ready to go. And as you can see on the left, we have Canvas, Blackboard, Moodle, OpenLMS, D2L Brightspace, Schoology, and others. So we pretty much handle everything. And then we also have an FAQ, the link to this is on the screen and in the description. But let's say in this case, I'm an educator and I use Canvas. Now I've got my Canvas courses set up right here and we're gonna go into Civics 102. Now I'm here inside of my Civics 102 course and on the left hand side, you're gonna see this Microsoft Education. This is our M365 LTI app. So I will click here to drill in. Now because this is the first time I've used the app, I'm gonna sign in. Now I'm signing in and this is that first run experience. So I can do things like use learning accelerators, I can create Teams meetings, digital notebooks and files, and we'll show some of those in just a moment. And you can learn more with these links, but I will go right here and say continue setup. Now the only thing the educator really has to do is choose which applications do you wanna see by default on the little dashboard landing page. These are all enabled by default. I can turn some of these on or off. Maybe I didn't wanna use Reflect or Reading Coach, but we'll leave these on for now. Okay, everything looks pretty good right here. I can go to notifications, it's a look option there. And I'm gonna go here, you can also see, I can change a light theme or a dark theme, it's kinda of nice. But right now, I'm feeling pretty good. So at the bottom, I'll go click done. Okay, it's setting up my class. And here you go, you have a nice landing page with all the apps. So the first one is just the classic OneDrive. And we'll go in here, it's gonna load up my OneDrive. Here are all my different files, you know, I can filter by Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. So this is really nice, just like that OneDrive, I have all my options right here. And right now I'm gonna just go back to this main menu. Now look, I've got a little drop down. Now you can see it's kind of like the little waffle we used to have. Let's say I wanna go now and I'm gonna set up the OneNote class notebook. That's right in here. Now this is modern and it works with LTI 1.3, which is a big customer request. It only used to work with LTI 1.1, the old version, but now it's LTI 1.3 compliant. And I'm gonna to choose to set up my OneNote class notebook. So just like you've seen in Teams, we kind of reused this same user interface with Class Notebook. I'll hit next. And here in my default sections, I can add and subtract just like I've always been able to do in the Class Notebook. And I'll click Create. So now it's gonna get my Class Notebook ready. Okay, the Class Notebook's ready. If I just hit Open Notebook, and there's my Class Notebook, I can open it up in the desktop, all the other things that you've normally been able to do. We'll close this. And what's nice is when students join into your class, they'll automatically get added into that class notebook just like it has in the past. We'll go back up to the little waffle and we'll go to the home tab just to show what that looks like again. Now the next feature I'm gonna show is how you can use learning accelerators without having any teams behind the scenes. This has been one of our top requests. So in this case, I'm gonna go to assignments and because that Microsoft Education LTI has been installed, if I go to the three dot menu here, you're gonna see this Microsoft Education. So I'm gonna choose this. What you have here is all the same options you have in Teams assignments, but there's no Teams required. We call this Teamsless assignments. So things like selecting a Word template, Excel, PowerPoint, you can make an assignment, you can reuse existing assignments, create a quiz, but the learning accelerators are some of the top requests that we've had for LMS integration. So I can do reading progress, speaker progress, math progress, search progress. As an example, if I choose reading progress here, this loads that same reading progress UI that you're used to. So I can generate a reading passage. We'll just leave it, let's say age 10 and this length, we'll say generate reading passage. Okay, that looks good. We'll use this passage and it pops it right in here. I can set the reading level, genre, all those same things that I would normally do inside of reading progress. I can even add comprehension questions if I wanted to. I'm not gonna go through the full flow. We'll just hit next. I'll give this a title and instructions. I can even add detail. And the AI kicks in because this is all the same AI that's already in Teams assignments. But again, this is Teamless assignments. I'll hit save. Now it's gonna sync the assignment details. Okay, there's my practice reading passage. Now I'm just gonna publish this. Okay, now I've published that reading progress assignment directly inside of Canvas. 
We're going to flip over to the student view and see what it looks like when they get that assignment. So I'm going to choose view as student from Canvas. Okay, I'm a student here, practice reading passage. Open that up. Okay, this is that student view, practice reading passage. Here's the reading progress tab here. I'll open this up. Hey, here I am. This is just like that student recording and reading progress. I'll click start. I get my countdown just like I normally would. I can now practice reading out loud. I can even change my settings like immersive reader and do all those same things that I might normally do inside of reading progress. I'm just gonna close this and now we'll exit the student view. Now we're back on the educator side and you can see here if I was to be grading those reading progress assignments, it looks just like it does if it were in Teams. But again, just to remind people, I'm not in Teams behind the scenes. We've just extracted the assignments piece and the learning accelerators. So I can get that same grading experience in reading progress or any of the other apps. Okay, we'll go back into assignments and this is for Canvas. And just to show one more time to make it really clear, we'll hit this three dot menu and hit Microsoft Education. And here are all the assignment options I have. I can create that quiz. A lot of people have asked about speaker progress. This is both great for K-12 and higher ed. Now here is all of that speaker progress UI. You can do all those things right here from within the LMS. We'll close this. Now I'm gonna go back on the left-hand side and choose Microsoft Education and go back to that landing page. Here's that landing page, some other great apps. We have Reflect. The full Reflect experience is right here baked into LTI, so you can create a check-in, all those great things that you've always been able to do in Reflect, they're right there. And we'll go back to Home. And this time I'll choose Reading Coach. Reading Coach is our newest AI-powered oral reading fluency tool. In this case, I'm signed in as a student and maybe I'm gonna create a story using AI I can choose my character, so I'll choose a dog, and I'll say on a mountain, and we'll make it level three. Now I can create my story about dogs on a mountain, and here is that reading coach story. So I can start reading, I can get the countdown, Max was a tiny dog, etc., etc. So we'll go hit the little waffle, go back to the homepage. The last thing I'll show is Teams Meetings. This is a popular one that now is unified in our LTI app, so in this case, I'm gonna choose Teams Meetings and I'm gonna create a new meeting, and I can give it a title, the attendees. I can even add the entire class, all the goodness of a Teams meeting, and I'll hit save. And now this is in my meetings list. I can join it right here. I've got my meetings, previous meetings, attendance, recordings, all that good stuff, and this is all baked in right as an LTI app, and we'll go back. Hopefully that gives you a nice tour of the Microsoft 365 LTI app. This is fully available in all the different LMSs I mentioned before. Canvas, Blackboard, Moodle, OpenLMS, D2L Brightspace, Schoology, and even more. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.